<laughs> Jeff can sing that. Uh, I'm standing here, <laughs> not warmed up. I'm standing here, and by standing I mean sitting, with Jeff Roberson, who works as Varla Jean Merman across, actually across the world. So Jeff, this is Jeff out of drag. Watch it. Um, <laughs> makes no sense. Shh. Um, okay, so a couple of questions. First of all, how did, how did you come up with the concept of who Varla Jean is, the child, that whole thing? Well, you know, in college, I met these guys that were crazy. Uh, I met them in, when I was in the musical theater, not musical theater, in opera. Uh, you department. were an opera major? For like a, a half a semester. So boring. Right. <laughs> I didn't have the dedication. And uh, I met these guys, and they were um, graduate students, and they, uh, you know, they kind of took me under the wing, and that was kind of the first time I ever did drag with them. They would film everything. They would have these parties, and they'd film it, and they'd all dress up in like Salvation Army pantsuits any time they started drinking. And uh, so they gave me the autobiography of Ethel Merman, and I read it, and there was a page that says, My Marriage to Ernest Borgnine, and it's a blank page. Oh, yeah, so that's I classic. Thought, yeah, so I thought I would come up with you know, if Ethel Merman had had a child, that she would have given it away immediately because it would have reminded her of her <gasps> husband. That's so. hilarious. So, okay. And what about the name Varla Jean? I got Varla from actually Russ Meyer in, uh, from uh, Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. I just love the name because I always love the name Darla. I love the name Darla when I would watch Little Rascals as a kid. Darla. I just thought Darla was a great name, but then Varla was even more exotic. Well, it's so annoying because whenever I text you, it always comes out Carla. It always corrects it. It will not acknowledge Varla as a name. <laughs> Autocorrect. Carla. I'm like, funny, my mother's Carla. that way. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, wait, I have a more, couple more things to ask you. So, first of all, the, when I first met Jeff and it was Varla, he was like this big, heavy drag queen. So first of all, how much big, weight did you lose? I guess I carried it in my belly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how much weight did you lose? I lost like 100 pounds. And how did you do it? Uh, I only ate red meat and coffee. All I would eat is protein. That's all I would eat. And coffee. It's so horrible for you. It's so unhealthy. It worked. <laughs> but... <laughs> Idiots. Yeah. Um, okay, so just gonna get into drag, but let me just say one of my, my favorite Jeff memories as Varl is I would I would hand out flyers in Provincetown um, as a favor for Jeff. Because you know when you do a Provincetown show, you have to have someone doing flyers. So Jeff was walking ahead of me in full Varla drag, trying to attract attention. I'm handing out flyers like a loser. And someone recognized me from the radio show, so they came up to me like, oh my god, you're Seth Rudetsky. And I'm like, hi, nice to meet you. And Jeff just turns around and goes, You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> so angry that I got any attention. <laughs> Idiots! Okay, we're getting into drag. How long does it normally take it again to drag? Oh, gosh. Today, only an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. Okay, we'll be back soon with my favorite song. And now, through the magic of layers and layers of pancake makeup and four pairs of lashes, Varla. <gasps> Two minutes later. I was early today. <laughs> Okay, it was a crazy amount of time. Uh, <laughs> anywho, this is, I have so many favorite Varla songs. This is one of my absolute favorites. Did you grow up hearing this music? Is this what you're saying? Oh, I to did. Do That's why I was obsessed with this song. But I just thought, you know, as I got older and as times changed, it just became a little dated. So it was up to me to huh. update it. Uh -huh. Sorry, Lynn Aarons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Enjoy. Here we go. Well, every person you can know And every place that you can go And everything that you can show You, you know, know their, their nouns. nouns A noun's a special kind of word It's any name you ever heard I find it quite interesting A noun's a person, place, or thing Well, I knew a girl who worked on 42nd Street She did what she had to do to make ends meet A customer refused to pay So her boss stepped in and saved the day Oh, I knew a girl who worked on 42nd Street well, every person you can know Like a hooker or a john or a pimp And every place that you can go Like a cheap motel or the bottom of a dumpster And anything that you can show Like your panties or a pimp's knife You, you know, know their nouns. nouns You know their nouns I went looking for my friend Miss Mary Jane I went to the park and someone whispered her name Mary Jane I paid that man who heard my plea Then he grabbed my hand and said, come with me I went looking for my friend Miss Mary Jane So any person you can know Like a roster for, you know, an undercover cop And any place that you can go Like to a park or a jail And anything that you can show Like a dime bag or a badge You know their nouns You know their nouns I knew a girl who met a man in a bar 
He said he'd take her to France and make her a star. I never saw that girl again. They found her floating in the river sand. I knew a girl who met a man in a bar. So any person you can know. Like a desperate girl or a seedy Frenchman. And any place that you can't go. Like to a bar or the bank of the sand. And anything that you can't show. Like fake credentials or a snuff film. You, you know, know their nouns. A noun's a special kind of word. It's any name you ever heard. I find it quite interesting. A noun's a person, place, or thing. Yes, a noun is a person, place, or thing. Whoa! Let's, we'll black that out. <laughs> wow! Wow! They both work! <laughs> now, at the same time, stop! <laughs> <laughs>